Have you ever been a star? Well, I never have either. Now I know what it's like. How's it feel to you getting a star playing J.R. Ewing after what you said to person? All the things you've done, and people are going to remember you as J.R. Ewing. Makes me feel like I deserved it. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. The bad guys finish first, don't they? I can interrupt you tonight because I'm field producing, so you can just go on as long as you can. Oh, all right, sure. Tell me about Dallas, the Dallas phenomenon. All the 57 countries, 360 million people. How does it affect your psyche, knowing that you're the most popular man in the world? Well, I, I always think that uh, this too shall pass. Uh, <laughs> it'll last about 20 or 30 more seconds, and then it'll all be over. And uh, No, wrong, right? No, no. Well, we were over in Italy, uh, uh, sitting in the, the square out there at Piazza San Marco, and uh, Dallas had just played in 13 shows. Okay. And it was fantastic. Uh, there was, I was there five minutes, and there must have been 5,000, not only Italians, but Germans and English and so forth surrounding me. I mean, it just really gets out there. But, you know, these things will pass, too. What about your popularity? Uh, you talked about your wife having helped you in any way, but then your mom certainly was a big inspiration. Tell me about your feelings about your family. Do you think you're she's into it? Please? Push me into it? Would you push anybody into the, 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 into the theater? No. Actually, my mother really wanted me to go into the theater, and I, I turned it down on a couple of occasions and wanted to be a cowboy, and then I found out what cowboy was, and uh, it ain't what you think it is, and it ain't riding horses and stuff. So I said, yes, I'd really like to go into the theater, and I started when I was 17. That was some years ago. <laughs> But it's really wild when I detected, like, who got top billing on this. Oh, that's just joking among families. We don't care. You know, she was, she's the greatest single actress that I know of in the musical comedy theater. And uh, and I'll never come up to that uh, level uh, because I don't sing real good, as has been attested by my record. <laughs> no, I think money is wonderful. I think everybody should have as much as they need. just depends on how much you need, that's all. <laughs> You turned on the edge of night. You started 20 years ago at the edge of night. Daytime yeah. soaps and nighttime soaps. What are your feelings? 20, the same, the same. They're both good training. You just get paid more in the nighttime than you do in the daytime. Where do we go from here? Do you want to be remembered as J.R. Ewing or their bigger, better? I just like working. I, I'm, a, I'm a working actor and a journeyman actor. I believe that work breeds work. The more you work, the more you work. And I like working. I'm a workaholic. As long as I get three or four days off a week. How does it all that millions of people? How does it really make you feel? Deeper, you guys. Another always wanted. The fame your mother had, the fame you now have, some passion. How does it make you feel? Fun. I enjoy it. It's fun. I have a good time. That's my credo. Don't worry. Be happy. Feel good.